What is the A plus certification? Let's find out. Hey everybody, this is Zach with IT Career Questions and today we answer the question, what is the A plus certification? And the best answer I can give to you about the A plus certification is that is basically the go-to certification that you can get if you're looking to get into IT. It covers pretty much everything from the start. It has a broad group of things that you should know and things that you will learn getting into IT. And the, the A-plus certification is a long process to study because there is literally so much to it. If you go to comptia.org, you can get tons of information about the A-plus certification, but I'm going to tell you what I know about it so you can have a better feel for it. So if you're going to take the test, it's gonna be multiple choice. You're gonna have a bunch of different questions and it's all multiple choice. You get to choose the best answer or the correct answer and you go on from there. No test is exactly the same. There are literally thousands of questions, I think, on this test or hundreds. There's, there's literally a ton of questions on the CompTIA A plus test that you will take to get A plus certified. Um, here's a couple examples of questions that you will get on the test, and this is actually what I pulled from the comptia.org website, just to give a, a really good example of what you could potentially expect on there. So uh, the first question is, which of the following does Pixie use? Pixie, P-X-E. And it's multiple choice, so you have A, USB, B, DVD-ROM, C, CD-ROM, and D, NIC. If you chose D, NIC, then you're right. Pixie uses the NIC card to basically boot from the network. There's, there's one example of a, one of the questions. Uh, here's another example. Uh, which of the following application stores are compatible with iOS? A, Android Market, B, Windows Marketplace, C, App Store, and D, Amazon App Store. Well, if you choose C, App Store, then again, you're right. This is, again, two examples of questions that you will potentially receive on your A-plus certification test. Broad examples right there. It, it, it's literally one end of, end of the spectrum to the other. And for me, when I look at that second question of which of the following application stores are compatible with iOS, that seems like such a just easy, no, you should know answer, you know? So there will be tons and tons of easy questions on there more than likely that maybe you might know. Uh, I know like right off the top of my head, there's tons that I've seen that I can just answer, you know, like that. There are, however, a lot of questions that you may not normally come across on a day-to-day -day basis, but it does provide a solid base of information uh, just knowing how some of the, these things work. You know, there's, there's lots of questions about how um, different IPs work, which is, you know, with, with networking. Um, it asks you questions about different uh, sound options, like with HDMI and audio inputs and stuff like that. There's literally tons of examples out there. So I'll shoot a link to that in the description below so you guys can kind of get a feel for that. I would also suggest if you guys are really looking to study for your A-plus certification, go check out Professor Messer's YouTube channel. I will also link to that below. That guy is amazing. I have watched tons of his videos. I don't think I've watched every single one, but I've watched literally tons of his videos because he's very, very informative and he's really good to just, to just you know, listen to in the background and he provides lots of useful information and really provides in detail what a lot of that stuff is. So if you're looking to do the A-plus certification, go check him out because he's definitely worth it. So the A-plus certification literally is the whole backbone of IT. If you are looking to get an IT job, and the, I'm gonna exclude any type of developer, programmer from the A-plus certification, you guys don't really need to know the A-plus, but if you're looking to do some kind of help desk, some kind of networking job or system administrator job, something along those lines, you definitely wanna look at the A-plus certification because it is extremely beneficial for you and a lot of employers do look for certifications. The A-plus just happens to be the biggest go-to one because it's typically the easiest one to take, but again, it also has such a broad, broad range of questions that you'll receive on there. But it really does give you a strong backbone of how computers and information technology work in general. So in closing, 
the A plus certification is just the best, broadest IT certification that you can get. It literally is everything that you need to know from the start and it gets more advanced as you go into it a little bit further. But literally, if you're gonna study something, I would strongly suggest studying for the A plus certification because it's really gonna provide you lots of information if you don't know anything about IT, the A plus certification is definitely the go-to in certifications. If you do know a lot about IT, the same applies. The A plus is a go-to for a certification. So if you guys have any more questions about the A plus certifications, hit me up in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to answer whatever I can for you. As always, take it easy.